in that era of Nebraska football, at least on the field, was Lawrence Phillips. But his performance on the field has always been shadowed by his behavior off of it as Tom Rinaldi joins us now. The glory days for Lawrence Phillips, Tom, seem like a different person in a different life. Well, Reese, for Lawrence Phillips, the life once measured in yards is now counted in years. He chose Nebraska to get away from a childhood in Southern California where he was abused and became a ward of the state by the time he was just 11 years old. He became a star in a violent game, but violence landed him in prison where he's been for the last 10 years. The world at large really hasn't seen him, but he can be heard in the letters he writes about the glory then and the fear now. The letters all come from the same hand, written from the same place. Coach, this place is a jungle, trouble everywhere, but we must deal with the situation we put ourselves in. The return address is Kern Valley State Prison in California, where inmate G31982 writes letters to old coaches his only way of connecting with his former life. Lawrence to the right two. He's inside the 20. Holy cow! Lawrence Phillips with a Heisman run! Lawrence Phillips, hands down, could have been one of the best, if not the best, running back in history. As a Southern California phenom, Phillips left home and arrived in Lincoln in 1993. They got all kinds of tricks. And these tricks are for kids because Phillips Freak. He was he was a freak of nature. Lawrence Phillips was the Adrian Peterson before Adrian Peterson was on the scene. Inside the 25 on 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, touchdown, Lawrence Phillips. His sophomore season, Phillips ran for more than 1,800 yards and helped carry the Huskers to the national title game. Dear Coach D, I have been thinking of the Miami 94 game. They had Warren Sapp and Ray Lewis, and we moved the ball on them. Good times. It is history, 13-0, and bring that trophy back to Lincoln. But after the second game of Phillips' junior season, life changed. Heisman Trophy candidate Lawrence Phillips has been thrown off the team for allegedly assaulting a woman Sunday morning. Uh, what he did was certainly uh, not acceptable in any, in any way, measure, or form. Phillips was charged with assault of his ex-girlfriend and trespassing. I'm working on uh, anger problems and going to counseling and stuff to get that uh, situated. And I'm sorry that that incident had to take place. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, hopefully something like that will never have to happen again. He was suspended for six games and returned to start in the national championship. Lawrence Phillips breaking one inside the 10 and touchdown. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. I really told him at that time it probably would be best for him to go ahead and declare for the draft. With the uh, sixth pick in the first round, the St. Louis Rams select Lawrence Phillips, running back, Nebraska. Phillips' NFL career was defined less by his play on the field than his continued troubles off it. Arrests, he threatened to uh, do bodily harm to her and in, did indeed uh, do so by striking her twice in the face. Releases. You seem kind of sad when you talk about it, almost sort of sad. like a father who failed. Hey, <laughs> I want to get into it. You know what? I'm sad. Denials. Did something go wrong in your upbringing that made you predisposed to committing violence against women or to... Uh. By 2009, he was found guilty of felony assault with a deadly weapon and domestic assault and sentenced to more than 30 years in prison. He describes his life inside in letters to the coaches who've never forgotten him. I was here about two weeks and someone was killed. Due to the amount of time on my sentence, I am in a prison with many lifers. Most do not feel they have much to lose, so violence is the result. Lawrence has changed uh, from the standpoint of being very philosophic about the situation he's in, reflective on the violence itself, 
and all the foolishness that that brings about. Phillips, then a model prisoner, soon became a target of the violence. He was attacked and stabbed uh, and had spent some time in ICU. And that was why he preferred to spend most of his time in solitary. I do not want any of these idiots in the cell with me. All they want to do is make knives and make alcohol. Then they say when they get out that they will not come back. It's like speaking to a brick wall. Now I understand how people must have felt talking to me. In April, after repeated pleas for a single cell, Philip's cellmate was found unresponsive. He's capable of doing a lot of things. Murder wasn't one of them. And my initial thought was somebody tried to kill him. On September 1st, Lawrence Phillips was charged with first degree murder. He was arraigned this past Tuesday. Number 16, Lawrence Phillips, BF161330, stand up. Is that your true name? Yes, sir. If convicted, Phillips faces life in prison on top of the 31 years he's currently serving. I cannot speak about the situation here, but I'm all right. Every letter he has sent ends the same way. Sincerely, Lawrence Phillips. I think everyone that knows him is very sad because uh, we realize the possibilities and that things could have ended up much differently. The tone that Philip strikes in his letters is thoughtful and reflective. We know we've corresponded with him over the last several months. This is the last letter we received in late July when he was contemplating our interview request. And then he was ultimately charged with the murder of his cellmate. This past week, his attorney said Phillips was acting, Reese, in self-defense. No trial date has been set. An epic saga of a player with such immense promise 20 years ago to the spot he's in now. Tom, a sobering story indeed. Tom Rinaldi reporting on Lawrence Phillips and so many times you just want to see superstars on the field, make great life choices, take advantage of the opportunities they're given, and certainly a sad, sad tale with Lawrence Phillips, the former Nebraska star. Tom, thank you.